off. We're approaching the halfway point of this generation of consoles, and as a reminder, here's what the 360 and PS3 generation had during the same amount of time. Gears of War revolutionized cover mechanics and cooperative gameplay. Bioshock revolutionized narrative gameplay and, and a narrative campaign that was absolutely fantastic with a twist that was absolutely fantastic. Rock Band and Guitar Hero revolutionized the uh, peripheral music uh, games, which absolutely insane. Anyone can play, including your mom. Um, we Sports talk about another game that revolutionized gaming for the casual audience. Anyone can play with just intuitive motion controls. Absolutely revolutionary. Halo 3, like revolutionized FPS social mechanics, service records, file share, all that stuff, pre post game lobbies, insane custom games. There were huge Halo 3 was a juggernaut. COD 4, this Call of Duty Modern Warfare comes out and it has a revolutionary new control scheme. Okay, that L R control scheme, okay, the aim and then shoot, the ADS, it was not a thing back then. It just wasn't. It revolutionized that, it revolutionized multiplayer progression which is still used to this day and it revolutionized 60 frames per second in multiplayer games. Like everyone has copied that now. That was a staple because of what they did with COD 4. Left 4 Dead 2 revolutionized multiplayer PVE mechanics with a director AI, absolutely revolutionary. Mass Effect revolutionized serialized campaign where you can com communicate and make decisions that would replicate over three games. Like what is happening? Assassin's Creed came out 2007 revolutionize an open world game with mobility mechanics you can climb anything like this was revolutionary elder scrolls 4 oblivion pretty much cemented the entire bethesda like how things would work skyrim would then like master it but oblivion was like where it was at burnout paradise an open world car game that was actually good bring burnout back what are we even doing batman arkham asylum a metroidvania taken into the third person uh, dynamic with a brawling mechanic that was revolutionary. No one had ever done that before. This is like the first Batman and also Batman games weren't good. Grand Theft Auto 4 came out, was just like a gigantic leap forward. Absolutely blows everyone's mind. Super Mario Galaxy working with gravity mechanics and motion controls. So again, anybody could play it. Fable 2, Geometry Wars 2. First three years. Maybe one or two games in there is 2009, but the 360 came out late 2005, the Wii and PlayStation 3, 2006. Three years. So 2009 works for those consoles, and 360 would be, the cutoff would be 2008. That's, that's the first three years, okay? And that's just what I could remember. So when people chalk up disliking this generation, the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, I would even say the Xbox One and PS4 generation, to nostalgia, I quite frankly have no idea what you're on about. This generation has been carried by Insomniac because of the one Ratchet game, the two Spider-Man games, a billion remakes, uh, I will say, from the 360 generation. That's where the remakes are coming from, for the most part. Um, a single-player Harry Potter game that WB plans to ignore to make more live service and mobile games. We just went over that news. This generation has been a complete disappointment to say the least, and that's being generous. Look, to all the creators out there saying this is nostalgia and games have never been better, I have to really ask, what are you talking about? We may have more quantity of games and we have some great games here or there, that is for sure. And I couldn't be more happy to play those games. The games that have come out that have been wonderful, Helldivers, Pal World, Baldur's Gate, Alan Wake 2, fantastic. Spider-Man 2, Ratchet, they're fantastic. But to say that the gaming generation today is the same as back then, is and, and the people who think that are chalking it up to nostalgia, what are you on about? These games were not only critically acclaimed, but they were revolutionary like they really were gears of war third person mechanics were there wasn't anything like that mainstream yet okay it just wasn't a thing it looked fantastic ran fantastic the multiplayer was fantastic and co-op games that was like a one narrative combined that wasn't a thing bioshock same thing rock band guitar hero people meme on them now because like activision spammed the ever-loving bejesus out of guitar hero 
but they were revolutionary because they were a way to get people who didn't know how to play games, right? Because it's a lot of buttons on these controllers, it's like 16 buttons. Your mom's not going to learn that, but she'll pick up the guitar. She'll pick up the mic. She'll pick up the drums. Your, your parents will play it, okay? That was revolutionary. No one was doing that. Halo 3. Halo 3, baby. Games, this generation is just a giant disappointment. I, I have never been so disappointed until the Xbox One and PS4 generation. And thank God the PS4 existed because if it wasn't for that, Microsoft, I don't know what you were even doing in that generation. That was such a disgrace. What games did you even come out with? Came out with like MCC, which was broken. Like, I don't even know how you do that. Okay. No one told you to go that hard. And if you're going to go that hard with the backing of a $2 trillion company, how does that even make sense that it's broken? And it takes like four years to come out good, okay? And people can say, yeah, the games work now. But no, 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 no. We do not forget about that. We don't just say, hey, they fixed it. No, 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 no. They fixed it today because they had to, okay? They didn't fix it because... They wanted to. If that was the case, you'd release it good. And, you know, all the Halo games prior, it's just like they're completely not even... They don't even care about the franchise's history. Oh, my God. Goose rant, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's absolutely disgusting. In this generation, like I said, we have games. But they are not like the previous generation. And that's not coming from rose-tinted glasses. That's not coming from nostalgia. That's coming from objective facts. That list that I presented here is a subset of the revolutionary, and I'll stand by that, revolutionary games that pushed the genre or the industry forward. Gears of War pushed the industry forward. Bioshock pushed the industry forward. Guitar Hero, Rock Band pushed the genre and the industry forward. It opened people up to new games. Halo 3. The 343 still can't even come out with a Halo game that is at the same caliber of Halo 3, which is insane because they have the source code. Is that, is that not insane? They could literally take the source code, plop it in, rename it Halo 3.5, and then just build up from there. But they, they can't even do that. Like, COD 4 is still seen as one of the greatest. Left 4 Dead is still, I think, played today. Probably Left 4 Dead 2. Mass Effect Legacy Collection comes out. It's huge. Hasha says in the chat, uh, the biggest thing we've got this generation is GTA 6. It's not even out yet. And that's true. And honestly, again, it's because the companies... The companies making these games now... And I'm not talking about Insomniac. Insomniac, you're doing fantastic work. I'm not talking about, um, you know, Larian, fantastic work, Remedy, fantastic work, but like, man, this generation, the physical games are gone. Alan Wake 2 didn't even come out for physical. It's digital only, and at the same full price. Does that make any sense? It makes no sense. We're getting less for our money, and I'll tell you this. Those generation games, those revolutionary generation games, Gears of War, Bioshock, Halo, Mario Galaxy, GTA 4, I put in the disc into an offline console or an online console, and I can play in two minutes. Pop in the disc to Halo Infinite. Pop in the disc to any of these, the, the new games coming out. You'd be lucky to play it in like half an hour. The download that you have, like, so the play experience is worse. The games are worse. They just are. They're not pushing anything. And that's why everyone's so hyped for Grand Theft Auto 6 is because we all know Rockstar is not making a game. Rockstar is making history. Okay, say what you will about Grand Theft Auto 6, but Grand Theft Auto 6 will be history. It is, it's already history. Like the trailer has, I think, over 126 million views. It's insane. And people are hungry for it. There's a reason people love Rockstar's games because after Grand Theft Auto V, they just realized, yo, yeah, we're not in the video game business because the video game business is cringe. We're in the history business. We're making games that are historic. So when Grand Theft Auto V comes out, everyone will play it. Everyone's going to stop and everyone's going to play it. When Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out, everyone is going to play it and they're going to talk about it. And the same thing with Grand Theft Auto VI. 
do we even think the next Halo game will have anything like that? Most people's thoughts will be like, will this work? Will this be feature complete on day one? Because none of them have ever been. Call of Duty is just cringe now. Like, uh, the UI is bad. Like, the gameplay is like, meant for people who take Adderall 24-7. Like, I, I can't even keep up. <laughs> um, like, it's just too fast. And like, literally the guns are like, fluorescent green and red. And it's like, I'm blind to just playing the game. Um, yeah, it's just depressing. So I really don't understand the creators who chalk up this general, like thinking of the 360 and um, PS3 and Wii generation as nostalgia. I just don't get it. Chat, if you guys understand it, let me know. I'm willing to listen. I just don't understand it because this generation was so meaningful. This generation walked so the generation that we're in today could run. And they're limping. Cringe. 